Vida. Kara gwaninka masu kallon mu barka mu da sake kasancewa a cikin wannan shiri na taka leda kamar yadda ka sani shirin taka leda shiri ne dake kamuka batutuwa da ya shafi duniyar kwallon kafa kuma muna tattauna da dukkanin masu ruwa da tsaki a harkar wasan kwallon kafa don masu mahukuntan wato shugabanni ko kuma mambobi na hukumomin gudanarwa ko su kansu ɗan wasan masu horas da ɗan wasannin alƙalan wasanni to a cikin harkar gudanar da sha'anin kwallon kafa aikin jarida na taka muhimmiyar rawa kwarai da gaske wajen gudanar da wannan wasa na kwallon kafa hasali ma dai ana haska wasannin kai tsaye musamman wasanni da dama a fadin duniya najeriya da sauran kasashe a wannan nahiya ta afrika ba a bar su a baya ba yayin da ake haska wasanni kai tsaye daga filayen wasanni a sassa daban-daban a fadin duniya to a cikin shirin taka leda a yau za mu tattauna da daya daga cikin abokan aiki wato dan jarida mu kuma ji irin rawar da aikin jarida ke takawa a harkar gudanar da wasan kwallon kafa to ba kwan namu dai a cikin wannan zaure zamu gabatar da shi amma da zarar mun dawo daga wannan hutu na dan takaitaccen lokaci kada ka ce mu takaleda kara gwaninka to masu kallon mu barka mu da sake dawowa kamar yadda kuka ji bayani tun farko zamu tattauna muhimmancin aikin jarida a harkar wannan wasa na kwallon kafa kuma ba kwan namu a cikin wannan zaure shine Abdullahi Alausa wanda tsohon dan wasa ne kuma dan uwa ne abokin aiki za iya cewa yana takarwa sosai a harkar gudanar da wannan wasa na kwallon kafa to barkan ka da zuwa wannan fili na taka leda to ba su sauraro da kuma kallon mu muna maraba da shigowa wannan zaure na'am to za mu tattauna muhimmancin aikin jarida a wannan wasa na kwallon kafa a cikin wannan shiri na taka leda aikin jarida za iya cewa ko shakka babu na daga gaba gaba dan inganta wannan harkar wasa na kwallon kafa mm. hasali ma dai yadda ake hasko wasannin kai tsaye musamman gasa daban-daban in ma gasar cin kofin duniya ne ko kuma gasar cin kofin zakaru ta nahiyar turai ko kuma anan nahiyar afrika a gida ma dai gasar lig lig da kasashe daban-daban musamman anan gida najeriya mm. haska wasannin kai tsaye na daya daga cikin abubuwan da suke taka muhimmiyar rawa dan za iya cewa idan ma ana buga wadannan wasanni dan jarida ba sa kawo rahoto ko kuma ba su haska wannan wasanni kai tsaye to ko shakka babu tafiyar da ake yi ba za a kai matsayin da ake a halin yanzu ba to daga bakin ka zamu so mu ji muhimmancin aikin jarida a wannan wasa na kwallon kafa amma kafin nan zamu so mu ji dan takaitaccen tarihin ka shin wane ne alausa to auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim kamar da ka fada suna na abdullahi baba alausa an aife ni kimanin shekaru 50 da yan mozi akai kuma an aife ni ne a cikin Kano kuma daga baya nazo Allah ya kai mu na zauna a jos na taso a can na girma na yi makaranta ta ta primary da secondary har da yi ma'ana dai kai haifaffan Kano ne amma kuma tashin birnin Jos ta jar plaza haka yake to daga nan na yi makaranta ta primary da secondary da university duka a nan Jos kuma lokacin da nake makaranta a secondary school na samu kaina a matsayin mai sha'awar buga kwallon kafa tun wato ma dai ina kallon wasan kwallon kafa din a TV a lokacin ma babu TV kamar yadda ka fada yanzu to muna sha'awar kallon kwallon kafa a lokacin sosai na iya tunawa na fara kallon kofin duniya wato World Cup a shekara 1978 wanda akai a Argentina Argentina wanda eh wato wannan shine kusan ce karan farko da na fara kallon World Cup wanda kuma har a yau babu wasan da ban kalla ba a world cup sannan kuma a bangaren ita kanta buga kwallon na buga kwallo a club club kanana da dama har sai da na kai matsayin kwararre domin na buga a kananan club luka na ungwanni da na makarantu da na garuruwa haka 
dama ta sa haka to kuma a lokacin da muka samu kanmu a ciki har ta kai ga na buga kwallo a babban club din nan na Mighty Jet da yake cikin garin Jos a wace shekara kenan a shekara 1985 zuwa 86 to daga nan kuma bayan na yi wa yannan abubuwa ya zamana cewar a lokacin da ake gudanar da wasan kwallon kafa na yan kasa da shekara 21 wato Flying Eagles na je kallon wasa na Saudi 89 da aka yi a can kasar Saudi Arabia kenan a lokacin akwai wasu daga cikin abokaina da muka taka leda da su a lokacin a nan Nigeria wasu daga cikin su duka mun har hadu da su a can a Saudi Arabia na'am kamar wasu yan wasanni kamar irin su Oladi Meji Lawal kamar su Baba Jibrin kamar Philip Osandu kamar Christopher Ohehe kamar su Bawa Abdullahi kamar su a lokacin da ya da dama akwai players wanda su Sarafa Salami wanda shine goalkeeper a wancan lokaci mai tsaron ragar ita kungiyar kenan so akwai kuma irin su wanda shi a karkashin a wannan lokacin ma shi coach tun dai dai su shine wanda ya jagoranci ita wannan tawaga sannan bayan nan kuma bangaren kwallon kafa still akwai wasan da aka yi na Nigeria da Ghana a 2000 shekara ta dubu bi kenan wanda aka yi a karan farko dan dama ba a taba yin hada kasa biyu su dauki nauyin bakoncin wasa ba sai a wannan karan a lokacin ita FIFA ita ta fara yi a lokacin bayan an yi Korea da Japan so a lokacin Nigeria ma sai aka ce ita CAF wato hukumar kula da halkurkin kallon kafa ta Africa ta ce ita ma tana so ta gwada wannan kuma ina jin tun daga wannan ba a kare yi ba to a lokacin aka yi Nigeria da Ghana aka ba su dama aka yi opening ceremony wato bikin bude wasan a Ghana aka kuma kare wasan na karshe a Nigeria wanda Kamaru ita ce ta dauki wannan kofi a hannun kungiyar Super Eagles ta Nigeria to wannan shine dai a takaice kadan daga cikin tarihi na'am to kai batu na kungiyar kwallon kafa ta Mighty Jet ma na ka buga wannan kungiya a lokacin da kungiyar ta yi tashi sosai to kamar yadda dai tarihi ya nuna kungiyar kwallon kafa ta Mighty Jet ita ce kungiya ta farko da ta fara lashi ma gasa na league din Nigeria in ban manta ba kamar al 1972 kenan kungiyar Mighty Jet ta lashi gasar ajin league na nan gida Nigeria to shin menene dalilin da yasa kungiyar kwallon kafa ta Mighty Jet ta samu koma baya kuma a wannan lokaci da kuka buga kungiya ta Mighty Jet a can birnin da su ta jahar Plato menene dalilin da yasa kuka yi tasiri har kuka karade fadin Najeriya da wasu sassa a wannan nahiya ta Afirka to gaskiya akwai abubuwa kamar guda biyu zuwa uku kwarara muhimmai na farko a lokacin da ake buga wasanni a wancan lokacin wasan buga shi ake kawai da kishi da kuma sha'awar shi buga wasan kanshi da kuma neman suna kusan a iya cewa a duk lokacin da aka yi wannan zamani ba yan kwallo ba sa ba da muhimmanci sosai akan kudi akan me za su samu so kishin kula ta danganta da abin da ke fa yau in ka kwatanta yanzu to kishin san bal din yana daya daga cikin abin da yasa yan kwallo da dama suka yi fice a wancan lokacin suka kuma nuna hazaka da kwarewar su har ta zamana cewar dan a lokacin ma yan Najeriya in ka tana ba su fara fita kasashen waje ba sosai so wannan lokacin wannan kishi da san neman sunawa kanka da kanka da kuma ainihin sha'awar ita wasan kwallon kafa din yana daya daga cikin abubuwan da suka yi tasiri yasa ya zamana cewar a wannan lokacin zaka ga dan wasa ya iya wasa sosai wani lokacin ma har yan rakiya ake yi masa daga gida kafin a JP saboda irin fice saboda fice ne zaka ga akwai masu zuwa 100 muka takalmi da jaka haka saboda su ma dai aga suna tare da kai su wannan ma a wurin su a wannan lokacin ci gaba ne da ci gaba to masu kallon mu da fatan dai kuna jin dadin kasancewa tare da mu inda muke tattauna da Abdullahi baba Alausa sohan dan wasa wanda ya buga kungiyoyin kwallon kafa da dama har mataki na kasa har ila ya kuma wanda a halin yanzu ya yi tsamo tsamo a cikin harkar gudanar da aikin jarida na wannan wasa na kwallon kafa kafin shirin ya dora ku dakace mu
to mas kallon mu da fatin dai kuna jin dadin kasancewa tare da mu har yanzu dai muna tare da bakon mu a cikin wannan sauri wato Abdullahi Baba Alausa wanda tsohon dan wasa ne kuma a halin yanzu yana gudanar da aikin jarida na harkokin wasanni musamman wannan wasa na kwallon kafa kuma shine bakon mu na wannan mako a cikin shirin takalida to kai batu na danganta ƴan wasan da da na yanzu kamar yadda ka kawo misali lokacin kungiyar kwallon kafa ta Mighty Jet kungiyar ana buga wasani da kishi a halin yanzu duk da yanzu ma mighty jet ba ta daga cikin jerin kungiyoyin da a halin yanzu ma suke gogor maya a gasar yawa a jin kwararru ta kasa shin menene bambancin ƴan wasan da da na yanzu ka dai batun akwai kishi matuka to menene bambanci kuma bayan wannan zan iya cewa kamar a dori zaka yi dangane da wannan batu da kai na kishi to akwai bambanci na farko wanda ba mu fada a baya ba kuma zan so in dora akai shine maganar kamar tarbiya ma'ana discipline za ga a wannan da'a kenan to a lokacin gaskiya zaka ga ƴan wasa coach sun dauke shi kamar uba ne mahaifi ba ma wani wa ba zaka ga duk abin da coach bai so players ba sa yin shi sabanin yanzu da zaka ga wani lokacin players din ma suna nuna karfa karfa kamar sun ma fi karfin coach din sannan kuma wani daga cikin abin da yake ba ka sha'awa a lokacin da aka yi bal irin wancan lokaci shine cewar su ƴan wasan su kansu banda da a gashi coach suna yin da a gashi alƙalin wasa za ga yanzu akwai lokuta da dama da in alƙalin wasa ya busa wani abu sai ga wani lokacin dan wasa ya je yana ta korafi haka har ta kai ga ana ba shi yellow kati katin gargadi to wannan lokacin irin wadannan da'a din tana daya daga cikin abin da yasa ƴan wasa suka yi fice wanda ya zamana cewar daga lokacin da suka fara yin irin wannan tasiri din ya taimaka matuka ga ya gurin kambamuwa da kuma karbuwar shi kan shi wasan kwallon kafa sannan kuma idan ka lura zaka ga cewa wannan yana daya daga cikin abin da ya janyo kyakkyawar alaka da dangantaka ta kudda kud tsakanin ƴan wasa da ƴan kallo ana supporters na'am a lokacin da kuka buga wasa shin zaka iya bayyana mana ƴan wasanni a lokacin wannan kungiya ta mighty jet wanda suka yi fice eh a lokacin gaskiya da yake ina da kuruciyar shekaru kuma ba wasa ne na yi shi wanda na dade ina ciki saboda harkar karatu an ce ba a hada gudu da su sanduwa wu to saboda haka karatu da karanci shekaru na to amma kuma kusan zan iya cewa kamar kusan an dan samu sauyi a wannan karo zaka ga idan ma dan wasa yana wasa sosai sai ka ji an ce to fa an maida hankali wajen karatu amma dai ina ga wannan kuma za mu samu lokaci na musamman mu tattauna wannan dan shi ma zan iya cewa maudu'i ne gaskiya mai zaman kansa haka yake to a wannan lokacin gaskiya babban kalubale da na fuskanta ni a harkar kwallon kafa shine daga gida a gurin mahaifina to da su aka fara yin wasa kamar eh kamar akwai ƴan wasanni irin su Abbas Jimo akwai manyan tsofaffun ƴan wasanni irin su Alilimi akwai irin su Sylvester Ikoja akwai irin su Sana Adamu wanda shine ya tafi a uh, first uh, na farko karan farko da aka shirya gasar uh, at matasa ɗan kasar shekara 17 da FIFA ta yi hukumar kwallon kafa ta duniya wanda mm. aka yi a China 85 na'am wato sana a talashi wanda Nigeria ce ta lashi a karo na farko mm. a lokacin ma Kodak kamfanin mm. Kodak shi yake daukar nauyin wannan wasa kafin ya dawo kan Coca-Cola da sauran su sannan kuma akwai irin su uh, awalu awala adamu wanda ake ce masa awali kila akwai irin su uh, uh, meku de gama akwai irin su uh, uh, akwai players da dama wanda a lokacin gaskiya sun yi fice na'am kamar yadda na gaya maka ba buga ake yi dan kudi ba to kun yi zamani daya da dan wasa baba otu muhammad a ba mi zamani dan baba otu muhammad ai da tijan dan wasa ne na'am <laughs> baba otu muhammad tun muna yara ma ba mu kai matakin da zamu buga bal ba ya buga a najeriya bal saboda shi baba otu muhammad ya buga bal da su shegun odegwami da irin su 
kadri ikana kadri ikana su felix olabi di ya buga ball tare da tun lokacin paul coach paul hamilton na'am ya saboda haka yayi ma lokacin asalin kasar brazil yawa eh wanda an ban manta ba shine ya jagorunci najeriya ta lashe ga sarkin kofin nahiyar afurka ta farko na farko da aka yi a shekara 1980 na'am lokacin shugaba shagari wanda har aka raba musu motoci da sauransu na'am to a wannan lokacin muna kanana ba mu kai lokacin da zamu yi wannan abun nan din ba so akwai irin su dan lada a ciburus akwai irin su meku da gama akwai irin su azado akwai irin su audi isa pele wanda shi kuma ma a lokacin ma wasun su suna a lokacin plateau united yanzu ake kiranta wanda tana a lokacin tana nigeria standard na'am eh lokacin sunanta nigeria standard kafin ta dawo ta rikide ta zama jib rock strikers ita kanta mighty jet din bayan ta bar mighty jet ta komo hanun nasco inda ake kiranta nasco jet kafin daga baya ta sake komo a highlanders plato highlanders sannan kuma ta sake da komowa mighty jet din nata to akwai a lot of transformation ma'ana ta san samu ci gaba da bunkasa a harkar a harkar a lokacin so akwai kuma club luka da makota irin su zabgai united da suke bauchi irin su nan raka rovers a kano wanda su ma sun sun zozo kuma mun zozo musu kamar dai inda ake home and away haka so a wannan lokacin a gaskiya lokacin yan kwallo kamar yadda na nake ta maimaita ba mai da magana ake ta maganar kudi na albashi da kuma signing fee ba saboda lokacin albashi ma da ake biyan yan wasa lokacin abin da ake biyan ba zai wuce naira 250 ba 250 manyan yan wasa su suke daukar 200 a wata na matsayin albashi na'am mm. to kafin mu tattauna wannan batu na albashi mm. mu kuma ka kara danganta jiya da yau din bara ma su sake karban wadannan sakonni ko kuma mu tafi hutu na takaitaccen lokaci yayin da muna dawa za mu dora akan abin da muke tattauna kar dai ku sha'afa shirin ta kale da kuke kallo kai tsaye a daidai wannan lokaci inda muke tattauna da Abdullahi Baba Alausa tsohon dan wasa kuma a halin yanzu wanda yake gudanar da aikin jarida na harkokin wasanni musamman wannan wasa na kwallon kafa ku dakace mu takaleda kara gwanin ka takaleda kara gwanin ka na'am to masu kallon mu barka mu da sake dawowa har yanzu dai muna tattauna da bakon namu a cikin wannan zauri wato Abdullahi Baba Alausa tsohon dan wasa kuma wanda a halin yanzu yake gudanar da aiki na harkokin wasanni musamman wannan wasa na kwallon kafa to kafin mu tafi wannan dan takaitaccen hutu ka na fara batu ko kuma ce ka fara bayanai sosai da dama dangane da harkar albashi na gaji kai batun ana biyan naira 150 naira 200 shin wani zai ce to naira 150 ko naira 200 musamman me masu kallon mu a halin yanzu ai da ishe ka ko ruwa ka sha batun da yanzu akwai ruwa ma na sama da naira 200 darajar kudin ne a lokacin wannan kudi masu nauyi ne ko kuwa eh hakika ai a wannan lokacin naira 200 za za iya kwatanta ta da yanzu kusan 150 ta Najeriya ko 200 saboda haka a lokacin kudin akwai value wato akwai daraja akwai daraja sosai ba na manta wato Abubakar Balarabe da shi da Dahir Sadi sune wanda suka fi kowa tsada a arewacin Najeriya akwai habula fefe a wannan lokaci kamar shekaru nawa kenan da suka gabata eh kimanin shekaru kamar 35 zuwa 36 37 haka za ga akwai a lokacin akwai habula fefe da muke tare da shi anan a Jos a Mighty Jet akwai lokacin da Abiola ya kira shi a lokacin abun da ake bashi a Mighty Jet bai wuce naira 300 da wani abu ba aka kira shi aka ce ana so yazo ya buga Abiola Babies to amma saboda kamar yadda na ga ma kishin club din da san kai jahar ka ko garin ka haka ya hana shi tafiya wanda a lokacin ana harsashen zai iya zama daya daga cikin mutum biyu zuwa uku wanda suka fi kowa daukar kudi a Najeriya amma ya hakura a wannan lokacin kamar nawa yake dauka a kamar bai wuce 300 ba naira 300 300 da dan wani abu to wani dan wasa ne ya fi daukan kudaɗi a wannan a lokacin Dahir Sadi Dahir Sadi yana daya daga cikin manyan ƴan wasa butattu wanda aka fara baiwa kudi naira 
dahir sadi tsohon dan wasan ranches bis tsohon dan wasan abiola lokacin yana ranches bis ta jahar kaduna ta jahar kaduna wanda daga baya suka zamo DIC lokacin yana buga club a lokacin Ahmed Alwa shine mai club din wani yin kasaitaccen mai kudi a Kaduna kuma ana ba Rashidi ya kina a lokacin kudi da farko ma fanda aka fara siyan shi ana ba shi ne radari hudu da 50 ne zuwa shi Rashidi Rashidi ya kina to daga baya kuma aka zo aka samu Dahir Sadi ya ninka shi ya haura ya kai kusan 600 da wani abu to a lokacin tana kan Dahir Sadi ana buga ball da shi sosai sai Abiola ya kai kuma wasa akai na challenge cup final yeah, yeah. to da aka zo wannan wasan gasancin kofin kalo bale na kasa to Abiola a lokacin ya bude club din sa kusan ba daddewa ina jin shekara ta biyu zuwa uku a lokacin dan a lokacin manyan club a Nigeria guda biyu Abiola Babies manyan club a lokacin a Nigeria guda biyu ne da Abiola Babies da Leventis United to a lokacin shi Dahir Sadi yana buga ranches business to sai shi Abiola wannan wasa da aka yi Abiola Babies ita ta cinye kofin dan a wannan lokacin a wannan shekara ita ta ci triple ana kiran shi triple kamar ta lashi kofin ta lashi kofin na uku a wannan shekara akwai kofin gasa na kalo bale na kasa akwai kofin zakaru akwai kuma shi wannan kofi na gasa talik to wannan su suka dauke to a lokacin babban gasa ake tsakanin Abiola Babies da Leventis United to wannan wasan da aka yi Dahir Sadi ya taka muhimmiyar rawa sosai duda basu ci kofin ba to wannan yasa shi Abiola da yake shine mai club din kuma yana stadium aka yi final yaji kuma ana ta maganganu akan shi Dahir Sadi shine aka yi kiran sa aka yi masa tai akan ya bar ita ranches bis ya komo Abiola to karshe dai in take ta ma labarin a lokacin aka yi masa tayin 700 800 950 yana ki yana ki kamar yadda yana ga ma ba kudin bane a gaban mutane dai lokacin har sai da aka rinjaye shi da aka ce to za a rika ba shi naira dubu daya to wannan shine tarihi a Najeriya na farko na farko wanda ya fara karban naira dubu daya a Najeriya shine Dahir Sadi a wannan lokacin na'am to bari mu yi batuna tasirin aikin jarida a wannan wasa na kwallon kafa idan aka kwatanta da jiya da kuma yau zan yi cewa zan yi cewa an samu gagarin mun ci gaba a tsawon wadannan shekaru musamman ma a nan gida na jiya shin ya kake ganin harkar gudanar da aikin jarida yayi tasiri wajen ci gaban wasan kwallon kafa idan ka kwatanta da da yanzu hakika harkar ya da labarai generally wato ta kawo ci gaba mai ma'ana sosai a harkar wasan kwallon kafa ba na manta shekarun 1976 da 77 zuwa da 78 wanda akai wancan world cup da na gaya maka na fara kallo wanda akai Argentina 78 kuma wanda Argentina din ita ce ta dauki wannan kofi kuma farkon World Cup din Diego Maradona kenan a lokacin yana shekara 16 to wannan lokaci a gaskiya a wata uku muke samun jarida ta harkar kwallon kafa ma da muke sanin mai duniyar kwallon kafa ta idan a lokacin gaskiya babu TV akwai TV ba babu ba amma sai gidan wane da wane so magana TV mai kala ma ba ta taso ba saboda haka yara duk a lokacin buga ta ake kawai da ka sai iyawan da suka danyi karatu su ne suke iya samun hotuna da jaridu da ake bugowa da nan nan gida da na kasashen waje akwai manyan jaridu irin su gaskiya ta fi kwabo a suke kawo labarin wasanni akwai new nigerian wanda ita ce ta turancinta daga nan kaduna akwai kuma manyan jaridu da ake buga su a kudancin nigeria a irin su telegraph wanda su ne suke kawo labarin rahotannin wasanni wanda a lokacin duk shafin karshe zafi na biyu zuwa uku za ka anan ne ake saka labarin wasanni khususan labarin kwallon kafa to wannan a lokacin ba a samu kwarewa da sanin ka'idojin ita kanta kwallon kafa ba a lokacin saboda karancin ilimi da karancin ya da labarin harkar kwallon kafa sannan ko ba a ganin ta a tv live kamar inda yanzu za ga duk stadium ana aika ta kai tsaye ake nuna ta na'am aha yanzu idan aka ce a cikin yan da ikoi ka fadi shin an samu gagarin mun ci gaba ko kuwa tafiyar za a iya cewa har yanzu da saura a an samu gagarin mun ci gaba domin yanzu yaro karami ma idan ka gani za ga zai gaya maka labarin wasan da aka yi dazu dazu ko wasan da aka yi jejiya ko wasan da aka yi yanzu ko cinikin yan wasa da aka yi 
kaga ne sannan ita kanta dokoki da kundin tsarin dokoki na hukumar gudanar da kwallon kafa ta duniya wato FIFA kaga ai yanzu kowa ya san su ya san in akai kaza offside ne in akai kaza foul ne in an yi satar ansa da wata keta da ma'anar in an buga so kaza za to kaga wayannan abubuwa ne wanda in banda kafofin ya da labarai din da ba za a har yanzu da ana nan a gidan jiya na'am to masu kallon mu gashi dai mun koro tattaunawa musamman ma dai na kara wayarwa da al'umma kai dangane da wannan wasa na kwallon kafa sai dai lokaci yayi halin sa kuma bakon namu a yau shine Abdullahi Baba Alausa tsohon dan wasa kuma wanda yake gudanar da aikin jarida na harkokin wasanni muna godiya kwarai da gaske da fatan za mu sake karbar bakoncin ka dan akwai muhimman batutuwa da za mu tattauna musamman harko dokokin wannan wasa da sauran su da kuma kamar mu sake zurfafa tattaunawa akan tasirin wannan aiki na gudanar da aikin jarida kenan akan harkar kwallon kafa da kuma ita kanta majilla da na fara buga da Hausa warai da gaske zai lokaci zai za mu samu lokaci mu sake tattauna wannan batutuwa nan nake cewa a tara a cikin shirin takaleda a mako mai zuwa idan Allah ya kai mu